Any any final words before we get into this? This is one. This is a challenge that's gonna take place over several, several, um, several streams. It's not just one. Okay. So as I said, I've started this challenge before. The first attempt was me. <laughs> the number, the number underneath. It's okay. You got Mandana right, babe. You got it. Okay. So the number number underneath my name is how many times I've died in that playthrough. Three times. That was before even getting to the first boss. The second one here is me um is me doing the playthrough after I figured out how to beat the first boss without picking up the heart container. We're not gonna use those. We're gonna start a new one all together. Let me see. Let's eliminate those all together. I don't wanna hear no I don't wanna hear no business. And then we're gonna go ahead and start. It's a little too loud. Okay. I can turn it down. It's no problem. That's exactly what I was asking. All right. Okay. So the first part of the game, you have to figure out what you're doing here in this world. What the hell? What the hell happened here? What's going on? Um, I can go in this cave here, and I find a gentleman. He says, it's dangerous to go alone. Take this. He gives me the sword. Not entirely sure, but I think I might stab him with it. Might be, might have stabbed him. This man might have gotten stabbed. Yeah. All right. So we come back out here. We come back out here, and now we have a sword. If my hearts are full, if the life is full, you see where it says life right here and has three hearts? If I haven't taken a single point of damage, then I can shoot a magical sword. I don't have to get close. I can I can do range damage. But as soon as I take one hit, I can't do range damage anymore. I have to find a heart to heal. All right. So the first part, what we have to do, we need to get to, uh, what is it? We need to get to level one. Level one is a, a, a special cave. Oh, well, now I can't do range damage. You see? No shooting. No shooting. Um, oh, well, this guy's going to murder me. Here we go. I need to get to level one, and I need to, of course, beat that boss without getting the what's it called without getting any heart containers which means i won't uh get extra hearts i won't go up to four hearts that's the challenge this is gonna be hard i'm i'm i i have no qualms that this will not be easy let's see uh we also need to do a little bit of grinding we need to we need to pick up some money pick up the cash flow all right so we're going to move down here. We're taking the, the path across. Let's see. I shouldn't say across the water. Um, Let's see. We're going to follow the river. Follow follow the pond. Oh, 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 oh. Come on. Come on. We're not doing this today. We're not doing this. We got to get to level one. This is already hard work. I don't need you to make it harder. Okay, so across this bridge here. Oh, 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 dang it. I don't have the magic shield. I'm an idiot. Okay, I, I, I expected to have the magic shield. I don't know why. Come here, come here, fairy. Heal me. Heal me, fairy. All right, and then we're going to go in this tree stump, which is the door to level one. Here we go. Okay, so this is level one here. Uh, level one looks a little bit like this from the pause screen. This is the map that we have. As we go to new rooms, as we go to new rooms, we'll, uh, we'll unlock more of the map. It will be displayed for us to see. Uh, for us to progress, we need a key to open that door. Here's a key. We could open that door. I'm not going to do it right away. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna go into the room on the right side. I'm going to the room on the right side. Bam. Come on. Come on, skeletons. Here we go. These are Stalfos, I believe. Their name is Stalfos. Uh, I used to play I used to play Legend of Zelda a lot. Then I realized <laughs> I realized how how each game is too similar to me. They're, they're, uh, a lot of the games are too similar, they're not too different, and I hate that. I hate when games get too similar. That's why I do like randomizers for Nuzlocke or for Pokémon cuz it makes it switches up the baseline of the game. Yeah, you run the things in different directions. That's why I do a lot of the challenges that I do on the channel. Because I don't like playing the same game over and over. <coughs> Even if it's in the series. I like to mix it up. And this is one hell of a way to mix up 
Zelda games. Okay, so let's take a look at our map now. That's our map now. Are we going to go to the left or the right? I think I want to actually go to the right first. If not, I'll have to double back. All right. Let's see. What are we doing? What are we doing? Hey. Here's the compass. The compass shows us where the boss is. I'm sorry, not the boss, but it shows us where uh, a piece of something that we're looking for called the Triforce is. Uh, basically, we want to beat each of these levels and get a piece of the Triforce so we can save the princess who's been captured. The princess of this wonderful, wonderful land of Hyrule. Oh, and we're going to save her. We're going to save her, and of course, we're going to save her with only three hearts. Bam! Bam! I'm the king of this. I'm the king of this. Don't take that out of context. Don't bring that up in like five minutes when I'm struggling. We can push this to the side and go to this room here. <coughs> and we can run to this man. We can run to this man who says Eastmost Peninsula is the secret. Eastmost Peninsula. Basically, he's talking about that room that's lit up on the on the uh this is the map. I don't know if you guys figured that out, but that's a map. That room that's blinking red and black in the top corner, or now in the bottom corner, is what he's talking about. That eastmost peninsula is where we want to head. And that's just what we gonna do. And that's just what we gonna do. <clears throat> okay, so the trick to beating this boss is that you have to be able to get behind him. Or her. Not entirely sure. Uh, look, look at that. That's a map. That item we just picked up is a map to the top right, eastmost peninsula. That's where we need to head, but we're not going to go there just yet. There's other stuff we got to do. Uh, the trick to beating this boss is that you have to pretty much sneak up behind it when it when it gives you room to sneak up behind it. Uh, and you have to deal damage very quickly with bombs. And you have to, at the same time, get yourself to a certain spot so that you don't hit the heart container when it comes out, as well as it doesn't block you uh, from the exit. You, it's not blocking you, really, unless you're doing the three-heart challenge, in which case you will have to cross over it to get to it. So, like, that that was really hard. That took me an hour to figure out, and I was pissed. I was so mad that I couldn't figure out how to do it. And then once I thought about it, I said, you know, if this is what this challenge has in store for me, I, don't think, I really don't think we need to be doing this, but we're doing it. We're here now. We're here now. We, this is, we can do this challenge. If, if year four of all play means we got to do this challenge or we can include this challenge, we going to include this challenge. Let's go back. One thing I will be doing, though. <coughs> oh, Jesus. One thing I will do, and I'll, I'll say it now. If you don't like it, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, I will be using save states, but I'm not going to use it in cheating ways like there's there's a place where you can do some gambling in this game you can do some gambling uh basically you get to a room you find like hidden rooms and the guy says uh place your bets or something like that place your wager and you can pay i think it's like it's either 10 rupees or 40 rupees rupees is the currency in this game you can either pay like 10 rupees or 40 rupees something like that and there's one spot that will give you more than 40 rupees or more than however much you paid, and the other two will take out different amounts. Of, oh my god, I'm gonna die already. Different amounts of money. I'm not gonna be using the save states for that, but for stuff like the bosses, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna use state save states there. Uh, like I'm about to die now. I'm not gonna use the save state here. That's cheating. And I'm gonna reload. Like if if we mess up against the boss, I'm gonna reload, because if I don't die, if I don't die, and I don't save, that means we're gonna have to redo. The entire, the entire game over. I'm not a fan. I am not a fan. Oh, that's right. I'm about to die. Here we go. Here we go. They go. If these hands touch me, they're gonna take me back to the beginning. If they touch me, <laughs> that's nasty. Come here. Come get this work. These are wall masters, I believe, because they're coming out the wall instead of sinking into the floor. Come get this work. Come get this work. Come on. Where's the last one? There we go. Done. Dunzo. All right. We're going to heal here. We're gonna, I'm sorry, not heal. We're going to save here. Like I said, save states. I'm, I'm going to admit it. We're save stating it up. We're save stating it up. All right. We good to go? Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Here we go. Okay. So when, 
I mean to do that. In this next room is the boss. We have to defeat the boss, but not only defeat it, we have to be standing behind it as we defeat it. Otherwise, we got to redo it. Here we go. It's the boss. It's Aquamantis. It's Aquamantis. The only way to defeat Aquamantis is to attack the horn on his head. That's its weak spot. Now, you see that, how it's backing up? It, what it does is it charges back and forth like it's doing now. And it also shoots out uh, those magic balls. We have to dodge the magic balls. That's easy. That's, that's, no, that's no problem. The trick is we have to hit it so many times before we go to hide it behind it. Because otherwise, we're not going to be able to damage it, really. We also need to get in there while he's uh, out here. And it's, it's not, that part's not easy. Oh, Lord, we're going to die. We're going to die already. That part's not easy. I will I will not lie unto you. That part is oh my god, stop being an asshole. He's an asshole. Come here. Oh, there's two. I think we need five hits and then we gotta go hide. I'm gonna I'm gonna do four. Oh, actually. Health wise, I don't think I can afford four. Oh, nope, definitely can't afford Oh! Well Well, there's one death. <laughs> there's one death. Alright. Here we go. Let's do it. Let's let's go. Let's continue. We continue. It'll be all right. We could be all right. We could be all right. We can, let's make our way back. Let's make our way back to good old Aquamantis. Ah, oh, Jesus. All right. So what I am doing here, uh, what I plan to do with the series, and this part's probably going to be cut out. Uh, I'm going to upload it to the channel. So if you don't catch the stream, you'll be able to watch it again, just not live, obviously. And it will have some parts cut out like this, us backtracking all the way to Aquamanus again. This won't be here. This won't be here. This, this is not. Unless something pivotal happens, this won't be in the, in the, in the, uh, I guess, VOD, in the VOD. Video on demand. Uh, let's move. Let's switch the bombs to the boomerang if if i throw the boomerang i can pick up items at a distance i just need to be careful that i don't uh what is it what am i trying to say i don't use my bombs before i actually need them we only have eight we only carry eight at a time so if i blow them all or i blow too many before we get to aquamanus i'm kind of in trouble if you don't get yourself assholes oh oh he tried my life he tried my life, and now he's getting the business. Oh, ah, leave me alone. <laughs> oh, I can't get out of here. I can't use my weapon in here, and he trapped me. Loverly. Dope. Let's go. Let's go. Who else wants it? Give it now for free. Oh, never mind. Not for free. Here. Here's the business. Here you go. Here you go. Hold these swords for me, fam. Damn, I probably shouldn't have got that right away. Oh, oh. All right. They're going to leave us alone now. Thank you. Okay, here we go. We're going to go up against... We're going to go up against the good old Aquamanus once more. Once again, save stating it up. Save, stay, save, save, stay, save, save, stating it up. All right. We ready? Let's go. Let's handle this. We got this. This is something we can do. We can do this. Here we go. <sighs> Aquamanus, come get this work, fam. Come get this work. All right. So with four hearts, it makes it a little bit easier. Makes it a little bit easier. I don't have to get up close. That's two, three. Four is not going to mess it up. I hope four won't mess it up. There's four. Okay. So now what we need to do is we need to get behind Aquamantis. We need to have our bombs out, number one. Our boomerang is useless here. We need to get behind Aquamantis, and then we need to drop bombs we need to drop bombs so that they damage them. Come on, come on, let's sneak, let's sneak. Come on. Yes! Oh! <laughs> oh! Okay, I was scared I wouldn't make it. Okay, so this, if you don't do it this way, you run the risk of grabbing that heart container or, or that heart container blocking you off from the exit. That's the only way to get through here without picking up that heart container. Oh, sweet Lord. And you can't leave? You can't leave the dungeon and then come back. Aquamanus will still be dead, and the heart container will still be there. There's absolutely no way around it. Trust me, I've done the research. Oh, my God, we got it. 
That's the first Triforce, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. <laughs> okay, level one is done. This video was part of a stream. If you want to catch our streams live, make sure you subscribe to AltPlay as well as turn on notifications and follow at the AltPlay on Twitter. That way you can stay up to date on all changes.